I removed all of my logos off of my bass drum heads, my resonant bass drum heads. So this used to be an Aquarian head that was a little logo at the very top. Like that is a 16 inch floor tom. Like this is basically a 16 inch floor tom, but it is uh, designed to work as a bass drum from the factory from Yamaha. It's a Manu Cash. It has a, a riser down there so that when you hook your bass drum pedal up, it hits directly right in the middle of the drum. Uh, it's a Manu Cash. Uh, this is the the first version of it, and um, it's a really great drum set. So when this drum set came out originally, it was quite a while ago, probably 10 years, wait, no more than that, probably like in the mid-2000s. Um, this was billed by Yamaha as uh, a kid's drum set. I don't think at the time there was actually a drum kit that was a quality s drum set for kids. This Manu Cash is called the Hip Gig Junior. And Yamaha also makes a, I don't know if they still do, but they, they make a uh, drum set called the Hip Gig, which is a full, it's a bigger kit. But it has, um, if I'm not mistaken, it has a you know a bigger bass drum. It might still be 16 inches though, but it's longer, and you can actually open it up and store drums inside of it for, um, you know, moving it from gig to gig. So they called this the Hipkit Junior, and then what happened was. Um, Instead of people buying this for their kid, and I guess some people did, but I think most of their sales was, was to full-grown drummers that were working drummers, <laughs> and they could fit, fit this, you know, in a taxi cab trunk, the whole thing, because it's only, um, it's three drums and a, and a snare drum, which is, the snare drum is 12 inches. Most people would probably not use the 12 inch they probably just take their 14 inch because that's not that big of a deal even if you're in a small cafe or something but uh, what happened was it became very popular with working drummers because there was nothing small out there like after that all these all the drum manufacturers created some kind of um, uh, gigging you know, small venue type drum set like Pearl came out with a Rhythm Traveler I think around the same time but anyways in 2015 they reissued the Manu Cash Hip Gig set and they these are the first versions were wraps so this is a black wrap around the drums but the new, the 2015 version had uh, lacquer finishes on it. They're, instead of being mahogany like the first one is, like this, um, they're all 100% birch. And um, it, it now comes with two uh, tom toms, so a 10 and a 12, I think. This one just came with a 10 inch. Um, but the, the bass drum is still 16 and you still get a 12 inch snare drum and it still has this same configuration for the bass drum which is very very nice configuration it's super solid I mean this thing I like it better than any other bass drum including the 22 inch and the 18 inch and I also have a 20 inch Pearl Rhythm Traveler as well which is not all here right now but um, the problem with the Rhythm Traveler, the original Rhythm Traveler, is that it's a 20 inch, great, 
but the width of the drum is very small so it doesn't feel real stable when you play it and it's so small when you hit it just doesn't have a real good punch it doesn't have any near anywhere near the punch that this 16 inch has I'm totally impressed what what this 16 inch bass drum sounds like <laughs> um, and so every manufacturer now has this same sort of now they what they did was they started calling these jungle kits so I think it was after the Manu Cash kit came out and then jungle kits became very popular for uh, drum and bass type stuff and it still works really good for that um, but I think mostly it just transports very easily the Rhythm Traveler is actually better for transporting but it just doesn't have the work uh, the sounds that you get with this minute cache the rhythm traveler actually what you can do since they're all the toms are concert toms they don't have bottom res res heads on them um, so the whole drum kit you can literally put it on the front seat say if you had a sports car with no back seat you could put the whole drum set in the front the whole drums would fit on the seat and your hardware you could probably just stick it on the floor or prop it up on the seat but this takes a little bit more room these drums so the back seat if you had a back seat this would be no problem uh, so and then this is my Yamaha Torque Custom these are maple but they're not American maple they're probably some kind of um, Indonesian maple but they still sound good uh, but this I replaced this drum resonant head you know when you get a Yamaha a new Yamaha kit it comes with a bass drum resonant head that has Yamaha with letters this big all the way across so I'm not sure if I would want that on my drum kit unless they were <laughs> paying me money but so this was an Evans head and at the very bottom down here it had a, that the Evans logo um, just like that and so took that one off and now it's just solid and then this this was also an Aquarian I'm pretty sure kind of don't remember but it was at the top it was a uh, oval came off in like two seconds and the way you do it is Walmart nail polish remover 98 cents 100% acetone I don't know if you need 100% acetone you probably don't but this is this is all this is what they had and it was the cheapest price is 98 cents just don't breathe that stuff because man anyways it works super easy you can still kind of see a little bit of of the uh, decal stuff on there. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see in the light, but you can kind of see the oval still. Let's see. Can you see that? I think you can kind of still see it, but you can't see it from far away.